<clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Go on. He's like a tourist. Just walk through your shot here. Hey. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about... <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to check out my trail being in backpack by Nerona. So I could do some testing on a day pack that would hold up for spring, summer, and fall hiking in Southeast Alaska. Do you guys mind? And it's been perfect size for day hikes, um, long, long day hikes. This is a wetter, wet, wetter. <laughs> this is a weather resistant backpack. By no means is it waterproof. The backpack does great in light showers um, throughout the day. Took it on a long hike where it was raining pretty heavy this fall. And anything that's going to be in contact with this outer part is going to get wet. It didn't soak through, however. Hey, beat it. <laughs> Finn, go on. It didn't soak through, but it did permeate through the outer layer onto whatever I had touching the material. So just bear that in mind when you're going to go on a hike. Features on this particular backpack. We've got daisy chain on one side and the other side. It's got ice axe slots here and right here we have ice axe attachments. I don't use an ice axe personally so I tend to carry my trekking poles in here and they stay put fairly well. We have a nice, easy to carry handle right here. Um, I tend to put my cooler cloth on this a lot because it's just easier to grab. But this is a access handle. On each side of the backpack, we have two sets of straps for compression. As you open up the top lid, you have a compartment here. You have a compartment here for storing some things that you want to keep a little bit more, I would say, drier. And this strap here also helps compress it. I just don't use it all that much. You have two ways to cinch down this bag, depending on how full of a bag you have. As you open this up, you can see that you can pack a lot of stuff up all the way up to here and cinch it. So it's pretty expandable. On the inside, there is a pouch for your water hydration system, which I use all the time. And it, there's two ways of exiting on either side. So if you like it on the right or the left. 
the back support system. Has a little slot in the back and you have a nice plastic frame sheet to support your back. I tend to carry anywhere from 15 to 20 to 25 pounds depending on the hike, how much water I have, and um, it feels great on my back. All right. Continuing on the front of the pack. Can you come over here? Come over here. Thank you. We have a nice small little panel here. It goes all the way across. All the way. It goes all the way across where I store snacks and um, things I may get to easily. So that's right there. On this side, we have a total access panel all the way to your bag. So if you've got something that you are needing to get to that's kind of halfway in between, you can unzip the side, grab it, zip it up, and you are set to go. One thing I do like about this backpack is all of the zipper systems have this little plastic kind of a hook, which makes it really easy you not having to just grab these little pinchy parts got up and down easy access all right so this top lid has a really roomy a pouch up here and I like it because while I'm hiking I can reach back and I can just grab one of these and zip it grab something use it eat it put it back in and zip it while I'm walking a nice thing about this is it's expandable. So the taller that your load gets, oh yeah, this expands too. You can fit quite a bit. Pull this off, snap these together, and then this hip belt detaches can slide it through here and you've got a little fanny pack for the day for quick little hikes. This hip belt is a nice sturdy foam. It's molded so that even when you are maybe taking a breather and unhook it, it stays formed to you and it doesn't fly away. It's nice because it tapers as it comes to the, uh, the middle part so that it's not just this big bulky belt. Fairly lightweight, has little spots here where you can attach things. And as we're coming up the backpack, it's got a nice little foam. A small part of ventilation for your back for airflow. However, this summer um, I sweated a lot, even in like tank tops and stuff. Um, there just isn't enough of a vent flow for me, but on days like today in the fall or spring, that part's not an issue. The strap system is really nice. It's got a nice foam strap system. It's got load adjustments and it's kind of tapered in. So it kind of contours to the form of your body. These slide up and down depending on where you want your chest straps. I like them up high so they don't move around a lot for me, but you might like them lower. There's also a handy dandy bear whistle is what I'm assuming it is or if you need help. So starting weight for this bag is three pounds um, because the a uh, support system is just a plastic system and there's no aluminum stays in this particular model. You want to keep your bag on the lighter side under 20 pounds for a day hike. This has been a great backpack for me. I've enjoyed using it through the three seasons and we're headed into early winter soon. So I imagine I'll be using it for then. Well, I love this backpack and I hope that you check out Nerona and see what other products they have. There's men's products and women's products, and they have a whole line of gear that I haven't even been able to dive into yet. So check them out. Like, subscribe, and stick around for my next adventure.